Hi, this is a demonstration of IoT heart attack detection heart rate monitoring system. So this is a very efficient system that allows the doctors who are watching a patient remotely or who need to keep track of a patient's health remotely. So this system allows for internet based heart attack, heart attack alerting as well as heart rate monitoring. So it can also be used by relatives or family of patient who need to monitor the patient who is at home or at a remote facility so that uh, even they can monitor the patient's uh, heart rate and get alerted if the patient gets a heart attack through uh, internet through this online login. So they can just log in and check the patient's uh, heart rate and uh, his health status from anywhere in the world. So for this uh, system as you can see here we have a circuit here which consists of a microcontroller which is interface to LCA display, a uh, heart rate sensor as well as uh, a Wi-Fi module. The Wi-Fi module is used to connect to the internet and the heart rate uh, sensor is used to check the heart rate of the patient and uh, the LCA display is used to display system status. So the system constantly transmits the patient's heart rate over the internet to the system and on the online part we use IoT Gecko here so which is a free development platform so we just uh, have to log in into the uh, online system to uh, get access so as you can see we can just uh, log in here if you don't have a login ID password you can register into a system to create a free account and then log in so we already have a login and a password so we'll just uh, log in so as you can see we have uh, successfully logged into the system so now we have already configured it for heart rate monitoring so we, have, we just have to click here So we now have to enter the minimum and maximum heart rate. So the doctor or the monitoring person can enter the minimum and maximum heart rate that is allowed for the patient. So if the patient's heartbeat goes below or above that permissible limit, it will alert the user here. So and it will also sound a buzzer to alert about the notice. So now let's enter a heart rate. Let's enter. 30 and 120 and let's click on set rate so it now says the minimum rate should be greater than 50 so let's enter it that way Now we have set the minimum rate and maximum rate and now the system has been started. Now let's do one thing, let's start the system here. And now let's wear the heartbeat sensor. Now it uh, reports the heartbeat to the online system after uh, particular uh, seconds. Now let's uh, wait for it to uh, record heartbeat. And as you can see, uh, heartbeat has been recorded here for the patient. And now it will transmit this online. And as you can see, 
it has started monitoring and it is displaying uh, heart rate of the person online and let's uh, wait for uh, the next value since uh, heart rate is uh, recorded per minute based on per minute basis so it has to wait for uh, a minute before uh, recording the next uh, heart rate and since the first one that we uh, when we wear the sensor you know the recording for one minute had already started and so you know that value is not to be considered so now the next two or three values after this it gives the right value and it has started monitoring so now let's remove our finger and uh, insert it again so that you know limited uh, heart rate or a less heart rate would be simulated so let's uh, insert it for some time and then remove it again and as you can see the next heartbeat that was recorded by the system that is uh, zero and uh, this is uh, below the allowed uh, rate or the permissible rate or the safety line and thus as you can see it sent the data accordingly to the online system and uh, sounded a buzzer and also alerted the user with a red display message there so similarly if the heart rate goes above particular uh, limit it will also display alert for the same since we don't have uh, a way to uh, raise the heartbeat to uh, that limit you can uh, simulate that uh, condition by setting a lower heart rate for the maximum rate and uh, check it so this is how the system works thank you